Tonight, Alan takes a look at the music community and how it's being impacted by COVID-19. This year, the NASA Music Society has been, uh, like many organizations across the country, affected by COVID-19, forcing you to resort to many virtual means of connection. But moving forward this year, a big part of your operations has been your scholarship program. So normally it's a big part of our, our season and our mission, but the audience usually becomes aware of the scholarships at the end of the process, and they learn about the scholarship recipients. Sometimes they'll hear them perform, etc. But this season we're really putting them more out in the forefront, and we're actually having an audience participate in the selection of some of the candidates. So of course, as you said, audience have not been at this level of the competition. What can we expect to see? Well, we have um, several competitions. One we've already offered and awarded, and that's our Education Technology Awards. And the ones the audience have um, a chance to look forward to are a violin and guitar competition. And that, that will be in February, the final round. And, and then we have a composition award which is something new that we're doing, and we're partnering with the BNT, the Bahamas National Trust. So the audience will also have an opportunity to look at the three finalists for that as well. You mentioned the finalists, but all together, how many contestants are we looking at uh, from start? Well, we're hoping for a good turnout, and we, don't, we won't know until the, the deadline, which is in December. December for the guitar and violin, and January for the composition. The guitar and the violin competitions, they each win an instrument, the top prize, and we also have the Audience Choice Award. And they'll also have the opportunity to interact with these world famous judges and um, do some networking with them, get the opportunity to work with them, get coached by them. And the Composition Award is some music software that will enable the composer to really hone their craft. Talk to us about some of those persons coming in to assist this year. Yeah, we're, we're really excited um, on two, two fronts in that our entire season once we are able to have live music, we'll be all Bahamian performers. So that's a first for us. We're really excited to promote all of the talent found in the Bahamas. And the second part is the international panel of judges we put together. So for each of these competitions, we have very esteemed panel of judges from all around the globe. All right, sounds like some great uh, progress there. Definitely looking forward to the final details of this initiative. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you so much. Lloyd Allen, ZNS. Network News.